سخن هفته لطفاً با چینال ما مشترک شوید Uh, today I'm going to talk about Wuhan Corridor and its geo-economic and geostrategic importance for uh, the neighboring countries. The issue is, the question is, what is the importance of the construction of a transit road through Wuhan Corridor for Afghanistan and the neighboring countries? Where is Wuhan? Wuhan Corridor or Pamir is one of the districts of Badakhshan province in the northeast Afghanistan. The administrative center of Wuhan is a Khandud village. Tajikistan is located in the north of this region, Pakistan in the south and China is in the east. The length of the corridor is 350 kilometers from Ashkashim uh, district in uh, uh, Badakhshan to the Chinese border. Its width is 18 kilometers near Ashkashim, 60 kilometers in the east of a uh, common border with China and 70 kilometers in the middle from Karabulak on the border of Tajikistan to Burugil border on the uh, Gilgit Balistan, which is currently administered by Pakistan in Kashmir. With a total area of 14,000 kilometers, Wakhan is known as the roof of the world because its average height is 4,000 meters above the sea level. All four sides of the corridor are surrounded by towering mountains of Pamir in the north, Tian Shin, uh, which is part of the Himalayas in the east, Karakram in the south, and of course Hindu Kush in the west. This is called uh, uh, the north of the world because all these major mountains converge in one area. For this reason, a Wuhan corridor can be passed through a rocky road only, which is uh, available for traffic in three months of the summer, and in the remaining nine months it's covered with snow and it's very cold. Historically, the Wuhan Corridor was considered one of the southern branches of the Silk Road, which connected China to ancient Ariana and India. In the 13th century, the Greek traveler Marco Polo traveled to China through the Wuhan Corridor. Also, at the end of the 19th century, Lord Curzon, the Viceroy of British India, also passed through this corridor. After the occupation of the territories of the Abdal Empire in Kashmir and Chitral by Ranjit Singh of Punjab and subsequently by the British and the uproar of Britain's great colonial game with Tsarist Russia, the British succeeded in creating the Wuhan Corridor belonging to Afghanistan as a buffer zone between British India and the Central Asian territories of the Tsarist Russia. What are the importance of Wuhan Corridor for Afghanistan and the neighboring countries? The Wuhan Corridor directly connects Afghanistan to the People's Republic of China. Today, China is the second economic industrial power in the world, and with the current speed of development, it will soon surpass the U.S. and become the first economic power in the world. To use in industries, China needs huge resources of minerals, oil, and gas. And to feed its people of 1.4 billion, it needs agricultural products. And Afghanistan can use its important strategic position as a supplier of 
uh, these materials to China. The construction of the Wuhan Corridor Highway and the Wuhan Corridor Railway um, in the future and its connection to the Karakoram Highway which, is, which passes 100 kilometers east of uh, Wajir Pass in the border of Wuhan, Afghanistan, Wuhan and China. This will enable Afghanistan to reach the city of Kajgal in China, Xinjiang province. This enables Afghanistan connection to, Kash to Kajgal without passing through the countries of Uzbekistan and Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan as well as uh, Pakistan for that matter, through the uh, Karakoram Highway. Pakistan will be able to access Central Asia through the Wuhan Corridor uh, by crossing Afghanistan's Wuhan. Uh, and uh, this would, uh, um, could, possible, could be possible via Kitch Pass between Afghanistan and Pakistan in the Wuhan Corridor and connect with the proposed Wuhan Highway and Railway by constructing Chitral Murich Kitch uh, uh, Highway. Also, a branch of the Wuhan Corridor Highway can cross the border with Tajikistan through uh, Khargush Pass and connect it to the Pamir Highway that connects Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan and provide Afghanistan transit connection with Kyrgyzstan. Here uh, on the map, uh, we see uh, how this uh, connection can be uh, made uh, from Khargush uh, Pass uh, between Afghanistan and Tajikistan to uh, Pamir Highway in Tajikistan. For Pakistan, connecting to countries of Central Asia through Wuhan is of due uh, strategic importance. By connecting a Chitral uh, to Wuhan uh, via uh, the passes, which is uh, which is on the border with Afghanistan and Wuhan, and then uh, the proposed uh, connection from Khargush Pass in uh, border with Tajikistan of and Afghanistan, and connecting that to uh, Pamir Highway in Tajikistan. Uh, Pakistan would have access to Central Asia, uh, say Dushanbe, capital of Tajikistan, uh, via a uh, corridor. However, Pakistan is now connected to Central Asia, countries through Peshawar, Kabul, Sherkhan, Bandar, Dushanbe, and also uh, through uh, Kabul, uh, Polokhumri, Hairatan, and through Uzbekistan. This uh, uh, highway is 600 kilometers shorter than the proposed Pakistan Chitral Wahan Dushanbe Highway. Therefore, the connection of Pakistan to Central Asia through Wahan Afghanistan will have only geopolitical importance. At the same time, India is currently in the process of constructing a 2,000 kilometer Ladakh Highway in northern Kashmir which is scheduled to, uh, com to be completed in 2026 if the political considerations of India and Pakistan allow. The connection of the highway with the Wuhan Corridor will connect the entire Indian subcontinent to Central Asia. In this way, it's possible to make Wuhan a transit connection point for the countries of Afghanistan, China, Pakistan, India, Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan. So what are the obstacles on the way of constructing the Wuhan Corridor Highway? In the past two years of Taliban rule in Afghanistan, 
Interest in the construction of the Wuhan Corridor uh, Transit Highway has uh, increased considerably in Afghanistan. Right now, the construction of a 49 kilometers a gravel road in the Wuhan Corridor is underway by the Taliban to connect central Wuhan with the Chinese border at Wakhir Pass, Wakhir Pass. Police reports show that until now, uh, Amir Khan Mutaki, the acting foreign minister of Taliban, has uh, proposed to Chinese foreign minister uh, uh, this project, uh, the project of Wuhan Corridor Transit Highway, twice. Unfortunately, so far, the Chinese have not given a favorable answer in, in this case. The disinterest of the Chinese in the construction of this project is from three points of view. First, the construction of the Wuhan Corridor Transit Highway in the mountains and very cold area covered with snow for nine months required the construction of a, a long tunnel at Wakhji Pass on the Chinese border and, uh, and also a hundred uh, kilometer uh, construction of uh, highway uh, uh, connecting uh, with the Kalakram Highway. It is estimated that only 350 kilometers of this highway from Chinese border to Ishkashim district in Afghanistan will cost four billion dollars. Not only its construction cost is very expensive because of the rugged terrain, but also maintenance costs will also be extremely heavy. heavy. For comparison, Consider Afghanistan's problem in keeping open the Salang Highway between Ahangaran and uh, Khanjan, which is no more than uh, 30 kilometers with, uh, at the 2,000 meters altitude. Now, let's compare this with a 350 kilometers proposed highway of Wuhan Corridor and it's 4,000 meters uh, average altitude, which will be covered with snow for nine months of the year. This way, we can understand the huge problems and huge costs of its maintenance and care. At present, adequate highways and railways connect the city of Karja in China to Hairatan port north of Mazar Sharif in Afghanistan through Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, without passing through the uh, natural and uh, atmospheric barrier of the Wuhan Corridor. Also, there is a, a road a highway connecting uh, China through Dushanbe and Sherkhan Bandar uh, at the Afghanistan border. Therefore, for China, the construction of the Wuhan Corridor Highway in today's condition and with the existing volume of transit material is not preferable and it doesn't make uh, a sense from an economic point of view second the u.s second uh, the issue uh, for important for china is security the, U the, U the united states is trying to destabilize china's Xinjiang region by using uh, terrorist groups, uh, especially the East uh, Turkestan Islamic Movement uh, fighters to destabilize uh, China and especially the Belt and Road Initiative, which initiates uh, initially from the uh, Xinjiang province in China and extends uh, towards the Central Asia. For the Chinese, the construction of the transit highway of the Wuhan Corridor and uh, the significant increase in traffic will facilitate the access of terrorist groups to the Xinjiang uh, state of China and will provide many problem and security uh, issues for the Chinese. Third issue for China is the um, uh, already constructed uh, uh, CPEC project uh, between China and Pakistan. The Chinese have agreed with Pakistan and Afghanistan to connect their Afghanistan uh, to the CPEC project or the Karakoram Highway 
by building a su suitable transit highway from Peshawar to Kabul. With the completion of this project, there will be no need for the Wahan Corridor Highway as far as the Chinese are concerned. However, for Afghanistan, the proposed Wahan Corridor Highway and future railway are of great geoeconomic and geopolitical importance, as it will provide a direct transit corridor to China without going through Pakistan and Uzbekistan. For Pakistan, the uh, a, bu a, a building, a road from Chitral to a Wakhan uh, border in Afghanistan and from uh, there connecting to the proposed uh, highway and to the uh, Pamir uh, Highway of Tajikistan will enable Pakistan to reach Central Asia, say um, Dushanbe, uh, uh, which is uh, with a length of 1,400 kilometers. This road will go through very rugged mountains and snow uh, peak covers and glaciers. This will be very expensive to maintain and, uh, and also operate. However, uh, Pakistan has uh, access right now from Peshawar to Central Asia to Jalalabad, Kabul, Mazar Sharif or uh, Kunduz and through uh, uh, Tajikistan or through Uzbekistan which is only 860 kilometers compared to 1,400 kilometers. This road is already available to Afghanistan. So it doesn't make any sense for Pakistan to, to invest on um, building a, a highway from Chitral to Afghan border in uh, Wakhan and then um, connecting that to uh, Pamir Highway in uh, uh, Tajikistan, which is another 100 kilometers or so. So hope uh, this, uh, uh, these explanations uh, provided as an insight on the issue. Thank you.